Hey folks, what's up, E.T. So, uh, I'm gonna make a, another bird point. And I was trying to decide between these pieces. I got a piece of tiger turd here. I'm pretty sure it's heat treated. I'm not sure how much. Um, it's got a pretty good curve to it. Um, so we'd have to lose all this back in right here. And then it's a toss up whether or not to put the point in here like this or this way. But I guess the first step would be to get rid of this back end off of here. Or we have this piece of Flint River here. Um, it's already got a pretty good start to it all in here. Just need to take this off, thin that out. And we got this piece of mukai here. Now this would almost, well, there, we could use it with some indirect. It's got a pretty good ridge across the top right here. This would be a pretty tiny point, but uh, might be a fun one. I actually think I'm going to work on this. What am I going to work on? I'm going to try this tiger chart. It's super, super thin um, in some areas. So I'm not sure how this is going to work out. But uh, I also pretty excited. I got Mike has sent his uh, the hand flaker and the notchy tool. The same notchy tool. This is copied off the one you see me see me use um, that I press in with my leg and and punch my notches out. It's essentially it's a pressure assisted punch um, I guess is what you would call it um, work fantastic but these are on the website very reasonable you can buy them individually or in a pair either one They're, I think you save two bucks or something if you buy them in a pair but those are on the website now but, uh, so what we're gonna do here we know we have to lose this so we use a number two uh, indirect stick uh, flexi stick here and just try and trim this up I want to tell you guys a story about Mike I know I'm always talking about Mike but there's a lot of things happening with Mike right now um, with the tools and all that kind of stuff so I have a lot of communication with Mike and uh, Mike was telling me yesterday and uh, maybe it was the day before about how this whole thing came to be and uh, kind of what led up to us meeting and this whole thing turning into the all the tools that he's making for me and stuff and uh, Mike was at a uh, Flint Ridge the Flint Ridge nap in and uh, he had made some of his hand pads you guys if you guys have been watching any time you've seen his hand pads these are some of them that I that I use are available on the website and they are they're the best hand pads made that I've ever seen so um, just very nice and they they're beautiful I mean the wood on them is just absolutely beautiful um, but anyways he was at the nap in and uh, he had approached um, one of the guys with one of the big uh, big uh, flint napping supplies online flint napping supplies and uh, I'm not going to say which one I'm, I'm just not going to do that um, about his hand pads he got to talking to him about them or he was talking to him tell him I'd like to show you something and uh, the guy looks at him just stares at him and then just walks away doesn't say a word to him doesn't say hey I'm not interested or get out of my get out of my space or anything like that he's just like just walks away and left Mike there he Mike told me he said you can't believe how that made me feel for that guy to do that and I said I can, I can believe that I've had that happen to me before actually um, but just kind of crappy I mean just crappy that someone did that you know but I told Mike, I said, listen, I know that was that was crappy and for him to do that. You were excited about this thing and tell him about it. And he just didn't even crap all over your idea. He just flat out wouldn't even speak to you. And uh, I said, I know that's crappy, but uh, it actually worked out pretty great for me in the end because that brought us together and here we are. And uh, I don't know. I've, I've had I've had quite a few people pitch things to me into flint napping stuff and I have people I mean 
tons of people uh, uh, pitch me different things uh, for leather craft and wanting to make things and sell them on my website and having me sell them and do all those other things and different tools and patterns and and all this other stuff and uh, some of this stuff I've got behind and some of it I haven't. If you're talking to me and you're pitching me an idea and I don't like it, I'm going to tell you, you know, straight up, this is this is what I think about it. And, uh, and just be honest with you. But what I'm not going to do is just treat you like you're in some sort of low life and just walk away from you. not going to do that so I was kind of bummed to hear that there's there was someone that done that to him but in the end um, it's all going to work out they have a they're much much bigger than I am or ever going to be in and uh, but, uh, I hope when all this is done they take a look back at it and go Huh, we should have talked to that guy. Maybe they'll change their attitude next time someone's someone's pitching them something. But we'll see. Maybe not too. Could be just the way they are. And and honestly, I mean, everyone has everyone can have a bad day. And maybe maybe the guy was just having a bad day. But uh I don't badmouth competitors and I don't uh I just don't do that kind of stuff, and uh, so I'm not going to mention her name. I just thought I just thought that was kind of a that kind of a <laughs> makes Mike the I always like rooting for the underdog, right? So that kind of makes Mike the underdog in my book. So now I'm even more determined to do my best to get his tools in front of as many people as I possibly can, um, because they they really he really is making some really nice stuff really nice and he truly truly wants to make an impact on on flint napping he's he's a pretty new flint napper but you know he's got the bug and the love just like the rest of us and uh, I don't know so check out Mike's hand pads check out his I make a few bucks off of everything his I sell um, just full disclosure there obviously I am a business but uh, he's got stuff on there check him out support the little guy and he's he is the little guy and man I'm telling you what there's some good, cool stuff there's a full lineup of tools coming um, I have yet to ever have a full lineup but it's coming and uh, Mike is taking care of a good deal of that um, as far as tools go, I'm still making I'm still making my flexi sticks. I'm still making my hand pads. I'm still making my leg pads, all that stuff. Um, still selling uh, Ted Snyder's Nachomatics on the website. Um, those were on there. Those are super popular too. And Ted's another uh, little guy out there with this, just a cool product that you know is just pretty cool. So. Uh, I've always been a small businessman. I like supporting small businesses, and uh, I'm not saying don't don't order from, from other guys. I'm not saying none of that at all. I'm not I'm not trying to say that. Don't take me wrong. I'm not bad mouthing anyone or any rest of that stuff. But at least give give Mike's uh, tools a look because uh, you're missing out if you don't because they are really nice. Just trying to run some flakes in there to try and you can see how that's cup. I'm just trying to flatten that thing out some, and uh, so we got to get rid of this whole end here without getting too carried away. Got to see a couple of my nephews today that I hadn't seen in a little while. I had to take my, I was running my dad around to appointments today. Um, 
Had an appointment with the heart doctor, that all went well, and had an appointment with the wound care specialist, and that went well. He had some pretty serious, uh, it was a mess. I mean, it was a mess. Um, the, uh, when he had his surgery, he started, I, they don't know if it was the sur surgical prep stuff that made him do it, or I might have this nail sticking out here a little bit far, or what, but, uh, he got these giant blisters. I mean giant blisters. Basically covered his entire legs and uh, up onto his midsection and pretty bad. They actually said that they had never actually seen that before. It was the worst they had ever seen. People tend to have a little bit of that but not, not to the extent he did. So anyway, so he's been out to go to a wound care specialist. There's a home health nurse that comes around and she's supposed to clean those things and stuff, but they're just, they're simply not trained for that. Um, the nurse that you go to the wound care specialist and, and they're, uh, the doctor that's there in the office is a retired um, cardiovascular surgeon that works in that office, oversees everything that happens in there. And then there's a nurse who's uh, she has a bachelor's in nursing and then she has specialty training on top of that for wound care and she knows her business she definitely knows her business but most of the staff down there associated with uh, Michael uh, Michael St. Michael's there in Texarkana has been just really really good I can't think of any bad ones if something happened to me I'd have no problem with with going there okay so We've got it relatively flat. It's got a little bit of a thick spot right here, but we got to run some, try and get some flakes across this bottom here. And I think I'm gonna switch to an issue stick for that. I do got two issue sticks that he sent that are ones that I especially asked for, and they have much larger bits in them. One of them has a quarter inch bit and the other one has a 5 16 inch bit and I have some special uses that I want to use these for but uh we'll see these are these are basically prototypes um, to see if I can use them for what I want to use them for and I either will or I won't but rigor issue sticks are on their way along with the boppers Yeah, so that makes Mike the underdog. And, uh, I just can't imagine someone just being that rude because he is just a super, super nice guy. But like I said, the person could have just been having a bad day. That certainly happens. I have more than most.
Everyone's entitled to have a crappy, crappy day. So if you missed the other video on uh, making these bird points, well, you should go back and watch the other one. In fact, you should watch all of them. <laughs> but what I was saying in the other one is that I learned this um, using this leather. This is a soft leather pad. Now I did put a, I stole one of my wife's uh, hair things and wrapped around the end of it and that is helping hold it together a little better but it may actually be too hard now <laughs> I don't know we'll see maybe not lean into that one a little bit I'm gonna lean into this one too And I heard a rumor that my sister's coming into town and they've been off working in North Dakota. And I heard they're coming into town. They'll be in town until the first of the year. So we're gonna take some time off and I'm sure hang out over at my dad's and Run some flakes up from the bottom here. I still feel like I've got a piece right here that's not come off yet. that time now so what happens is after you flake this stuff there's still some that, that's a that's the regular I don't know if I want to take all that off because I don't want to lose all my all my stripes I don't know if they'll come back when we put them in the what you do with this tiger turk is you put it in a, an acid solution, which is just vinegar, and it brings the, because when you nap it, the stripes go away, but then you put it in the vinegar, and it brings them back out again, which is pretty cool in my book. Oh no, I just broke it in half. Look at that. Can we still make a point, you think? I guess we'll try it and see. Zigzag this bottom off. We were on course for a pretty cool point there. That's actually the first one I've broken the pad, I think. It 
That's alright, that point was way too big anyways. <laughs> We're trying to make a little point, right? As long as we don't break it again, we'll be all right. And maybe we'll make a point out of the other piece too. I was wondering if I could make a little... I don't know what I'm going to make. I was thinking about making some... There are not a thing about making, you know, I'll make a little miniature, tiny little miniature Harden and maybe a little tiny miniature um, Snyder's and make some little miniatures. I still need some more practice at, at this here. Kind of fat at the bottom. Um, because our point shrank it's still fatter than what I would prefer it to be at the moment Stopped by Bubba's at a Philly cheesesteak sandwich on the way home. Place never disappoints. I've had about just about every burger on the menu now, I think, and uh, never been disappointed with the burger. Not all of them, but I've had quite a few of them. That black and blue burger is one of my favorites in the classic. Bacon cheeseburger is pretty good. So the next appointment, we're actually done with appointments now until the 26th, which is also my birthday. 
so uh, they had made the appointment for like 11 in the morning I said whoa whoa, whoa wait a minute because they changed it today at his other appointment because we were supposed to go to Texas Roadhouse today and uh, they changed it so we missed Texas Roadhouse because of course they don't open till 3 So I told him you need to change that to 2.30. So by the time we're out of here, Texas Roadhouse will be open. So I actually don't like to go there until they've been open for at least an hour. Um, I just don't know if it's, they just gotta get the grill going good or what, but it's never quite as good when they very, very first open. It takes just a little while. It's looking pretty cool. kind of notches should we put in it you think Might do a clunker video after this one, I'm not sure yet. I got up at three o'clock in the morning. I had the alarm set for six. I'm always worried I'm gonna I hate to be late to anything ever. <laughs> it's just a pet peeve of mine. I, I don't like to be late and I don't like people to be late when they're meeting me either. And uh just a that's one thing that drives me nuts. Which is funny because uh, my dad's not as bad as he used to be, but me and my dad were partners for a good part of my adult life, uh, business partners. And uh, he was never, he's hardly ever been on time for anything in his life. And uh, we still made it work though, but that was something that always drove me nuts. I don't know about this. I'm not sure how this is going to work. It's a little bit fat and corner notch is probably a bad idea. But we'll see. Definitely looks like it was a bad idea. Turned into something different than corner notches really. They started out on the corner, but they didn't end up there. Hard to see that, isn't it, on that camera? Put this up there. And when I got home, my deer leather it came in. So if you're wanting a piece of that leather like I use on 
when I'm making these. I'll have that back up here in a day or so. I just got so much leather work to do right now. I really shouldn't be out here now, but I got up at 3 o'clock in the morning, set alarm for 6, ended up at getting up at 3 in the morning. I got home, I saw, before I left, I set the saw to cut the slab. It automatically shuts off, you know, when it's done. And I left. I'm liking it so far. And I left, I came back, and the saw was still running. I was like, what in the heck is going on here? And uh, I had forgot to flip the handle back up, so it was just sitting there running. So it just ran for like four hours straight, five hours. And never cut a rock. Well, if I lost that little booger, I probably wouldn't find it again in here. Would be my guess. I think I'm gonna have to get some. Uh, let me take this other one and sharpen it up real good. Get it just as sharp as I can get it. Kind of tough to film this one, it's pretty small. I like it though. I guess I better get another lighter colored pad. So depending on the flint, I can you guys will be able to see it. It's straight, it's pretty skinny, and it's pretty tiny. Pretty doggone tiny. If I had some magnification, I could probably make it look a little bit better. Alright, there's number one. We're going to throw that in some vinegar. I'll be right back. Alright, we're back. I went and cut a piece of this uh, lighter leather here. Um, so you guys can see what was happening and I also stuck that uh, other one down in the vinegar now this it probably isn't going to change in the 10 minutes or so it's going to take to make this this thing's already pretty good I'm going to zigzag off this broken edge and then uh, shape it into an arrowhead and it won't take too long to finish this one Now this thicker, this leather is just a hair thicker than the last stuff that I got, um, which means this pad's a little bit thicker now. So we'll see how I like that. I cut the leather the same size as this other one, but this is a little bit thicker, so it kind of bulked up a little bit more. So I'll figure out what size. And I got this in three different colors: this gold, um, black, and. Uh, brown color I 
and what this soft leather pad does it just kind of supports the whole piece it won't stop you from breaking it like I did if you're pushing above center and trying to really give it the give it the business So, I think we'll make, I guess we'll make this our tip up here. Probably make this a, a little stem point or something, I guess. I don't know, something different from the last one. And as you're shaping this thing into an arrowhead, you're still pushing, still pushing your flakes. They're obviously fatter in the center. And if you're not pushing your flakes, you're just gonna get fatter and fatter and fatter as you narrow the point down. Almost pushing those straight in. I have thoroughly enjoyed making these little bitty points. I never thought I would. I, they were just a, just a bit of unwanted frustration for me for a long time. Until my buddy Keith showed me just a few things. Number one being this pad. Well, number one being get it flat first. You'll get it about the thickness that you're going for and flat no curves and use a soft leather pad rolled up really tight You guys may not be able to see it, but I got a fat spot right there. I need to turn this edge just a little bit, try and push that off there. Right there, I need to push that off. You guys probably can't even see that, but right here, a little bit of a fat spot. Your platforms are still the same, you know, as a big point. Really not much difference.
actually like the feel of this pad pretty good the way it is. Pretty daggum nice. You guys are probably like, enough with the birdies, make something big. <laughs> <coughs> Hopefully I'm zoomed in enough that you guys can, I think you, there's a, I know that I like watching on TV is how I like watching YouTube, but I'm in the leather shop and I watch it in there and I'm in the house and watch it on the big TV. So we can either do a stem or we could do a side notch. Let's do a side notch. Okay. Notching one this tiny is It's hard for me to see that platform or which direction the edge is turned when they're It's hard for me to see on a big point so It's really difficult on a point this small I do believe this one's a little bit bigger than the last one though, that we just did. Not by a lot, but a little bit. All right. So when you're using this notching tool, whether or not you're doing micro points like this or you're using it on your leg, and I'll, I'll make a point and we'll do some notching with, with this. But it's exactly modeled after my other one here. I have another one here that Robert Lofton made me. Um, it's it's a bit shorter um, when I was down there. He uses a little different notching technique. Same kind of notcher, just different technique. And he's really good with his technique. and deburred enough. It don't feel perfect. All right. Now something something really don't feel very right about that. It's not right. I don't have my big uh, I don't have my big file over here. I'm going to take this over there and and adjust this real quick. Okay, I'm back. Just went over there and hit it. Took some of the bulk off of the. I just put this bit in here and I didn't quite. Seems like I still got a little bit thick. I just keep throwing it away, don't I? I 
Let's see, let's do something a little bit different with the base on this one. Just to make it a little bit different. I'm not trying to make any particular point style, just a little triangle point with whatever base makes us happy. And I think today, kind of liking that base. There's a little turned up turn up with turn ups. little turnips I like that point just fine for sure it's a pretty little point let's pull our other one out of the, out of the cocktail juice here let's see maybe I'm gonna get that out of there down in there, not can't get it out. Oop. Yeah, that didn't change the color at all. Don't appear to have. Not yet, anyways. But I usually leave them in there about 24 hours or so. And, uh, let me wipe this off. You know, on bigger pieces that got some color in them, it just really pulls the color out, the vinegar does. Pretty cool. So there's our two little, our two little bird points. Uh, you want to know what size they are? That one is, uh, about three quarters of an inch long and that one's about seven eighths or more almost an inch on the width widest part not quite a half an inch that one is uh, almost five eighths so, yeah, they're pretty tiny. But, all right, well, I appreciate you all watching, and uh, we'll uh, catch you on the next one. Y'all keep napping. Check out Mike's Tools. They're on the website now. And uh, the big old uh, uh, dance blades preforms will be coming soon also. Appreciate you all watching. Y'all keep napping.